you have to make your base strong in order to learn web development and we are here to help you with that hello and welcome to this lecture in the previous lecture we learned about several attributes of html with their example in this lecture we are going to learn about html elements so let's see the agenda of the lecture at start we'll be learning the meaning of html elements then we'll see a basic example of html elements after that we'll be covering main two types in the element section block element and inline element and in inline element there are two subtypes anchor tag and span tag we'll be learning them with some important examples and at the end an assignment is waiting for you an html element is an individual component of an html document that represents semantics or meaning for example the title element represents the title of the document the head element specifies the header etc most of the html elements are written with an opening tag and closing tag with content in between elements can also contain attributes that define their additional properties for example a paragraph which is represented by the p element would be written as opening p tag content and then closing p tag these html elements are responsible for creating web pages and defining content in that web page technically an element is a collection of a start tag attributes end tag content between them note some of the html elements do not have a closing tag and content these elements are termed as empty elements or self closing elements or you can also call them void elements now let's start with an example for this we will open a file and rename this file as elements.html save this file and run it the output is on your screen through the example we can clearly see that every html element is written with an opening and closing tag note the doc type declaration itself is not an html tag every html document requires a document type declaration to ensure that your pages are displayed correctly and it tells you the version of html also and in this example the break line does not have an opening and closing tag in html all the elements do not require a start tag and end tag some elements do not have content and end tag such element in html all the elements do not require a start tag and end tag some elements do not have content and end tag such elements are known as void elements or empty elements also these elements are called unpaired tags some void elements are represents a line break hr br represents a line break hr represents a horizontal line etc in html elements there are two types of elements such as block level elements in line elements for the default display and styling purpose in html all the elements are divided into two categories so first let's understand the block level element these block level elements structure the main part of a web page by dividing a page into specific blocks a block level element always starts with a new line and takes the full width of the web page from left to right and also these elements can contain block level as well as inline elements these are the block level elements in html you can see on the screen tags such as address tag article tag canvas tag footer tag the header tag etc now let's see an example of block level element save this file and run 
and we can see the output on the screen. In this example, we have used a tag which defines a section in a web page and takes a full width of the page. We have used a style attribute which is used to style the HTML content and the background color shows that it's a block level element. Now we'll understand what are inline elements. Inline elements are those elements which differentiate the part of a given text and provide it with a particular function. For example, if you want to make any particular word bold or italic, you can do that with inline elements. These elements do not start with a new line and take width as per requirement. The inline elements are mostly used with other elements. Here's the following list of elements on the screen. Tags such as anchor tag, bold tag, button tag, code tag, image tag, etc. So let's see an example of inline elements. In this example, we have used two inline elements, anchor tag and span tag. Now let's understand what is an anchor tag. The HTML anchor tag defines a hyperlink that links one page to another page. Anchor tag can create the hyperlinks to other web pages as well as files, location or any URL. The href is an attribute that is the most important attribute of the HTML tag and links to the destination page or URL. Now let's understand span tag. HTML span tag is used as a generic container of inline elements. This tag is used for styling purposes to the grouped inline elements. The span tag doesn't have any default meaning or rendering. So now let's save this file and run it. We can see the output on screen. So we have learned about the HTML elements and different types of HTML elements. Here's an assignment for you. Can you make a web page that outputs the following content? Hint, in this assignment, a div tag, anchor tag, span tag is used. The heading of the page should be my website. You can download the solution from the resources. So with this, we come to the end of this lecture. In the next lecture, we will learn about how to create a hyperlink which will be fun to learn. Goodbye and take care.